Most people think that time travel is impossible, but believe it or not, there's no law of physics preventing time travel. Isaac Newton thought, for example, that time was like an arrow. Once you fired it, it never deviated, time travel was impossible. Now comes Einstein, who says, wait a minute, time is like a river, old man river that meanders its way around stars. The new wrinkle on all this is that we now believe that the river of time may have whirlpools. The river of time may fork into two rivers, and the river of time may perhaps be bent like a pretzel. Now, Einstein, of course, had doubts about time travel, but his office mate, Kurt Gödel, perhaps one of the greatest mathematical logicians of the last thousand years, was the first one in 1949 to find a solution of Einstein's equation which allowed time travel. If the universe rotates and you were to go around the universe, you would come back before you left. Einstein, of course, was puzzled that a rotating universe would allow for time travel, but he said in his memoirs that he's not worried because the universe does not rotate. The universe expands. Well, since then, we've now discovered literally hundreds of other types of solutions of Einstein's equations which allow for time travel. If you have an infinite cylinder and the cylinder rotates and you dance around the cylinder like dancing around the maypole, you can also come back before you left and meet your parents before you're born. I have physically traveled in time. Andrew Bashago is not acting. We have. We did over 40 years ago. The Vancouver, Washington attorney is on a mission to reveal what he calls a 40-year government cover-up of Project Pegasus, where he says he was teleported back and sideways in time dozens of times. I have the whole story. I have hundreds of facts. I can tell you what personnel were at what locations where which time travel device was being used. And his time travel wasn't recent. It was when he was a kid. I entered the program officially in the fall of 1969 as a third grader, age seven. One of 140 kids, 60 adults, chrononauts as he calls them, including his dad, who joined him on his first jump. My dad held my hand and we jumped through the field of energy and we seemed to be moving very rapidly. But there was also a paradox, we seemed to be going nowhere at all. I'm traveling six times to the Ford Theater on the day President Lincoln was shot but he didn't see it happen. And we're not done with Lincoln. In fact, during one probe, the one to Gettys the Gettysburg Address, I was dressed as a Union bugle boy. That's right, he was at the Gettysburg Address. He says this famous picture taken that day proves it. He says this bugle boy is him. It's the only visual evidence he provides for any of his travels. That's it. I was physically at Gettysburg. So one day, if somebody knocks on your door and claims to be your great, 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 great granddaughter a thousand years into the future, don't slam the door. Because maybe your descendant got into a time machine to visit her illustrious ancestor. <laughs>